the day that the Lord, that the Lord chose to show me mercy when I was the least qualified for it, you know? And, and it's crazy to me because I wasn't trying to serve God. The night that I gave my life to the Lord, you see, because I was raised up in church, like my dad, you know, shared a little bit. I was raised up in the things of God, you know? And, and when I when I left the house of God, when I left the things of God, in my mind at that time, I was making my decision to not want to serve the Lord, you know? But I, I made that decision based on faulty information, mm -hmm. on believing that what the world had was so much more worth, worth it, worth my life, worth my time, worth my energy, you know? And so because of the lack of information and because of my ignorance to, to the truth of who Jesus Christ really was, I chose to live a life of sin, you know, and I found myself in so many uh, uh, pits in so many dead ends and so many hopeless and restless nights, you know, thinking that I was having fun, that I was living the life and enjoying my sin. But the Bible says that sin is pleasurable for a season. Yes. And I'm so grateful to God that that season came to an end. And when it did, I made the decision to leave that season yes. and those seasons of brokenheartedness, of, of, of uh, 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 what's that word? Um, when you hate what you did, regret. regret, you know, and the pain and the suffering and just the bondage. I thank God that when that season came to an end and Christ presented himself to me, that I chose to say yes to Jesus, man. And because of that, he's allowed me to see his goodness and his, yes. his, his provisions over these last 10 years. You know, I looked up with that number 10 men and it meant journey, yep. wilderness. And, and it said pastor, but, you know, I rebuked that one quickly. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> no, but, you know, but it's amazing to me because, man, you know, in this journey, and another word was wilderness. I don't fear the wilderness anymore because I know that he will be with me. That's right. What I fear is the mountaintop without him. Yes. What I fear is success without him. Yeah. What I fear is a is a is a, a, a wonderful life without Jesus. That's right. Because all that is on a timer, you know, and I just want to thank God that he chose to die for me. Yeah. That when he thought of me, he did not say, you know what, that fool is gonna just be a mess. <laughs> But he said, you know what, despite his inability, when I was in worship, man, the Lord told me something. He says, he says, I didn't just die for your disabilities or your inabilities, but I died to give you the ability. That's right. And that through him, you can do all things through me, yes. son. And I said, you know, and I was just, you know, having my moment with the Lord as we all should. And I said, man, Lord, I know that you have enabled me to do things that I wouldn't have been able to do had you not had mercy on me. Yes. Had you not shown me the love that you showed me, yep. he showed me that his love is an enabling love. That's right. His love is an empowering love yep. to do and to be yes. and to become what the opposite of what the enemy tried to, to make me to be. Yep. He said, I didn't have to wear those garments that the world put on me. That's right. But he had robes of righteousness for me. Yep. And I thank God for his, his never ending mercy because. In this 10 years, my Lord, if I ever come close to the edge, if I've ever slipped, but had the hand of God been any short, had, had it been short, I would have been lost forever. Right. But I thank God that I can come to him as a son and, and ask God to forgive me of my sins. Yes. You know, I, I'm going to share it because I, I, I have this time and I'm going to just share it right now. We just partook of communion. And I felt the Lord telling me, put it down. But he wasn't telling me to put my, the, the, the bread and the, the, Jew, the Jews down. He's saying, in these moments of remembrance, something has to get put down. Yes. Either you put down the sin and the rebellion, or you put down the cup and the bread. Amen. He says, because it is when you take partake of this, in the wrong manner. He says, it's the reason why some of you are sick. Yeah. It's, the, it's the reason why some of you are going to sleep. In other words, it's the reason why some of us will die. Because we desecrate and we des dishonor what Christ did for us. In the shedding of his blood. 
He shed his blood so that our sins can be forgiven and washed away. We partake of the bread because his body was crushed for us. And because his was crushed, ours does not have to be. But when we partake of it with no intention to put down our sin, we we dishonor the blood that was shed for us. And we dishonor the blood that was crushed, uh, the, the body, his body that was crushed for us. Yes, amen. And so this morning, if we took it in a, dis, in, a, in a wrong manner, the Bible says if you have something against your, your neighbor, man, ask for forgiveness. Yes. Make peace with those that, are, that have wronged you. Yep. You know? Remind yourself that you too have fallen short of the glory and need forgiveness. Yes. And, and we have entertained sins in our lives. And so if you partook of the blood and the bread this morning, I hope to God that whatever sin you were partaking in before it, yes. that you would repent truly yes. and turn from it and don't go back to those ways. Yes. Because when you do that, you drink and you put a curse on your own head. Yeah. But that's the ignorance that God saves us from because there was things that we didn't know until the truth of Christ was presented to us. And so I thank God that February 2nd, 2010, I chose to believe the truth. Yes. And it was Jesus Christ. And I pray you would do the same. In Jesus' name, amen.